So, looks like uh, Italy are going to have the first opportunity as uh, Joe Hart strides towards the net he has to guard. And maybe in the next five minutes or so, we will know the winner of this evening's entertainment in Kiev. And look at about this, what a scenario this is. A smile from Manchester City's Mario Balotelli as he steps forward, attempting to beat Manchester City's Joe Hart. I think he's smiling at him. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of uh, gamesmanship going on, I think, here between the two of them. I wonder how many times this goes on in training at Manchester City's ground. It's Balotelli against Hart. Always important to get the first kick in. Balotelli right-footed. Not a long run-up. Successful. 1-0 Italy, how pleased is he? And relieved. First blood Italy, step forward for England, Steven Gerrard, captain. A man who missed a penalty in the Carling Cup final in England against Cardiff City this last season, but who has scored notable penalty kicks down the years. He will also be right-footed. He will be up against Gianluigi Buffon. Together they stand. Together they hope and pray. And Gerard answers those prayers. 1-1 in the shootout. Unerringly driven beyond the right hand of the goalkeeper. Riccardo Montolifo will be the next task with scoring for Italy. Yet another right-footed kicker of the football. Montolivo for Italy against Hart, the goalkeeper. And he's driven it hard, wide, low. Outside the uprights. A miss by Montolivo. But it is still 1-1, remember? until England's Rooney comes forward now to try and give England an advantage. Rooney with nine successes in his last 11 spot kicks. Agony for Italy. Agony for Montolivo. Can Rooney give England the advantage? He uh, pats the mark down to make sure he has the ball spotted absolutely perfectly Wayne Rooney remember missed the first two matches of these European Championships having been sent off against Montenegro came back from the band with a goal this is Rooney now and he makes it 2-1 England they are in front by the narrowest of margins Struck to the goalkeeper's right, Buffon went the wrong way. Cheers on the England bench. Up comes Andrea Pirlo next for Italy. Not yet vital, but he knows that really, if he misses, his country will be in trouble. And Joe Hart smiling, enjoying it. To, almost doing a Bruce Grobler. You remember the Liverpool goalkeeper who once in a Champions League final, a European uh, Cup in those days, tried to put off the taker by jiggling up and down on the line. This is Pirlo. Oh, how cheeky is that? The floater. And it's 2-2. Well, it was arrogant, it was calculated, it was effective from Andrea Pirlo. Barely touched the ball. And I wonder what Hart was feeling as he went to ground there. Oh dear, probably. It all turned out right in the end. It is 2-2 as Ashley Young steps forward for England to try and retain the advantage. They've all been right-footed takers and he hits the post and missed by Young. The advantage is lost momentarily. So we are back where we started. Two successes and one miss on each side. Well, Buffon didn't contribute much to that. It was purely the miss by Young. 
And now for the Italians, the substitute, Antonio Nocciarino, score, thought he'd scored when he put the ball high into the English net, only to be ruled offside. Nocciarino to give Italy the lead again at 3-2. Here's England's misery to continue in penalty shootouts. They still remember on an even par, provided the next one goes in. A rueful look on the face of Hart. England two, Italy three. Ashley Cole. In his 98th appearance for his country. He's never scored a goal but he has converted penalty kicks in shootouts. He will be left-footed. This to even things up again. It's Cole. Oh, the save is made. It's advantage Italy. Consecutive misses from Ashley Young and Ashley Cole. Not good for the two Ashleys. And up comes, for Italy, substitute Alessandro Diamanti, who was playing in England a couple of years ago for West Ham United. He won't take long about this. It's Diamanti and Italy are in the semi-finals to play Germany. It is more misery for the English in a shootout and from penalty kicks, they have been foiled again. Italy are advancing into the last four, thanks to the deadliness from the spot of their substitute, Alessandro Diamanti from Bologna. And the misses by Ashley Young and Ashley Cole bring England's adventure in Ukraine and Poland to a full stop. Yet again, the hoodoo has struck them in penalty shootouts, and it is Italy who advance into the last four. Italy who will meet Germany in Warsaw in the semi-final on Thursday. English hearts are broken. Italy's joy is unconfined.